All right, guys, now we're here now at the uh, little spot that I always had set up for foxes. I got uh, some muskrat carcasses there, just throw it in, and uh, I'm going to set up a trail cam here just to see what's around more than anything. Uh, I usually catch a fox here, but uh, last year I never caught either one. Let's uh, see what happens this year. I'm just going to set up my trail cam right here and uh, see what we can catch on and, uh, and video, if anything. I like this little trail camera. It's a, it's a Simmons. It's a cheaper brand one, but it still works just as good as what the most expensive ones do. that. Make sure you're going to be able to point in the right spot where it needs to be. Make sure you're good and tight. And just turn it on. Now the settings should be still good from the last time. Just click set up and it comes on on. Now we button it up and away we go. That's it for that. All right, guys, we're up here now checking muskrat traps. Uh, had two muskrats there so far. One real small one. But that's it there in the fall. Got uh, a couple traps here now that we're gonna check. Usually get some muskrat here. Anytime you can come across a log like this here, and especially with the amount of sign that'll come across on this one, you uh, always should set it up. Ah, there we go, that's a nicer muskrat. And as you can see, I put two traps on this here one because there's, there's always a lot of muskrat sawn on it, as you can see. I got uh, that one little spot here notched out and the other one down there it's not notched out, but uh, still works just as good. And this here is a quick connect that I made up. Uh, you just put some down to the trap, and uh, you, you turn sideways, and any bit of tension on it, you're not going to pull that through. But I'll, I'll show you a little more on those later. I'll make a video of uh, how to make them and whatnot. But we're off to the next set now. This here is a beaver house that I trapped uh, three years ago, I think it was. I think it's right full of muskrats now. It seems to be a lot up around this area. But I trapped the beavers out of it. We're coming up now on another one of my floats. Uh, there's a bit of sign on it, but uh, no muskrat. Not today, anyway. Well, we'll go up to the next couple. Just around a turn here now. I like trapping this here spot because this is a, there's lots of different set locations. But I think I'm soon uh, soon going to be ran out of mushrooms. I'm not sure if I got anything here, but I got a couple 220s. And uh, no, there's nothing here. Not today. But these two traps here have been uh, producing pretty good so far the year. I had an otter out of them. Uh, had a couple of, uh, I had three or four muskrats out of them. So far I'm up to, uh, well counting these here, three now, that's exactly 50. 50 for to send out. Uh, check a few more traps now on the way back, uh, see if we got anything. But uh, I honestly don't think so because the traps that we're going to check on the way back uh, haven't really been producing. Uh, so I guess it's just three rats for today. But uh, we'll get back down to the fur shack and uh, see what's. I'll show you around and that, see what, show you what I got so far. I don't know how well you can see it there now, but uh, there's two, two bull moose there. Uh, they're about uh, four points each. Real nice eating moose. Uh, made a couple phone calls now and uh, two people that got a license and uh, see what happens. 